Hey guys, Andrew McComb here, the founder and CEO of Golf University. In this Golf University tip from the pro, I'm with Craig Palmer, the director of golf at the Hills in Queenstown, New Zealand. Craig's gonna teach us how to set up and align the golf stance and club correctly. But before we start, and if you haven't done so already, I encourage you to subscribe and hit the bell icon below so that I can notify you every time a new episode is released. And if you stick around until the end of this episode, I'm gonna give you access to our famous Golf University Skill Assessment, which has helped thousands of our members, just like you, find and fix the one thing that's killing your golf scores, your handicap, and your game. Plus, we'll give you free access to the specific video coaching program from one of our world-class golfing instructors so that you can feel more confident, consistent, and in control of this area of your game. But before I help you find and fix this area of your game, let's find out how to set up and align the golf stance and golf club correctly. This tip from the pro brought to you by Golf University, the world's premier golf improvement program. I'm here with the director of golf at the Hills, Craig Palmer. Craig, welcome to the show. Thanks very much, mate. Craig, we often get uh, fans emailing in about you know wanting to get tips from us, etc. And mm -hmm. sometimes we pass that responsibility on to people like yourself. Yeah, fair you enough. Know, we, we, we get overwhelmed trying to teach everything. So, yeah. I have uh, one of our viewers, Richard Coles. Is yep. uh, he's emailed and he's he's an absolute beginner. Yeah. And he just wants to know the basics. I mean, stance, alignment, yep. that sort of stuff. Yep. What okay. would you recommend? Um, I, I guess, um, well grips are a very important thing, but that's something that he should probably be taught by a professional one-on-one um, -on -one because it's not something you can probably explain in this sort of situation. But um, the, the stance and the alignment are two things that we probably can. Yeah. yeah. So uh, standing in an athletic position is always going to give you a great opportunity to, to hit a good golf shot. Okay, right. so that's probably something I can talk you through now. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Okay, so um, it's a funny little exercise and you'll look stupid if you do it by yourself, so I'll join you. Uh, but if I get you to take your grip and get your feet around about shoulder width apart, and just have the club up in the air like so. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna keep our legs straight and we're gonna tilt from the hips and try and keep our back nice and straight as well, okay? So if we tilt from the hips, that's it, cool. From there, we wanna maintain the angle that we've got in our spine angle, and we just wanna pop our knees just a little bit, just so we can feel the weight spread evenly on our feet. Okay, so from that position, if you just let the club drop to the ground, okay, you'll find that you're actually in a really athletic position, really positive, really, really neutral position, yeah. and your arms are just hanging from your shoulders and you look really relaxed, yeah. okay? So the most important thing to feel there now is that your weight is evenly balanced on your feet, uh, both left to right and forward and, and back. Right. So Craig, if I do this, it's gonna hit the ball straight for me? Not, not necessarily. We're just, we're just giving you the opportunity to, to be able to hit the ball straight. Okay, so uh, the next thing obviously is alignment, which is really, really important. And right. one, of the, one of the first questions I ask in a, in a clinic situation is, what do you aim with? And you get all sorts of answers like feet, shoulders, you know, and people are trying to line their shoulders up. And, and so then I, I ask people, what do you hit the ball with? And of course they say the club. Okay, so it's the club head. So aiming the club head is the most important thing. Mm -hmm. And then most people I find, once they've got the club head aligned really well, are actually very good at aligning the rest of the body around how the club head looks. Right. Okay, and so the easiest way, especially as a new golfer, to align the club head is to pick an intermediate target. What I mean by that is a target that's no more than probably a foot, two feet in front of the ball on your target line. And obviously you'd stand back here and line with your ball on the yeah. target and you'd find something on something that target around line. this area? Yeah, so it's much easier to aim at something that's really close yeah. than it is to aim at something that's far away, yeah. all right? Well, there it is. I hope you've enjoyed this Golf University tip from the pro. Put a yes in the comments below if you found it useful, or ask a question in the comments if you need even more help. And as promised earlier, we wanna help you find and fix the one thing that's killing your golf scores, your handicap, and your game. So to access the Golf University Skill Assessment and free video coaching program, go to golfuniversity.tv forward slash golf skill assessment, or click the link in the description below. And to help you feel even more confident, consistent, and in control of your golf game, I also wanna personally invite you to join our 19th hole clubhouse and golf channel. This is where our passionate and inspiring members belong to watch, learn, grow, meet, and share inspiration as golfers. You can join the 19th hole for free at the 19thhole.club or click the link in the description below. As a member, you'll have access to hundreds of golf lessons, travel episodes, and documentaries. Plus, you'll get member-only discounts on our golf schools, tournaments, travel, tours, and signature programs. 
And if you're a golf addict like myself, you can also join our members only Facebook group by clicking the link in the description below. And remember, if you've enjoyed this lesson, or you'd like to ask some questions, or maybe you've even got a suggestion for another episode, then leave a like and a comment below, and my coaches and I will do our best to answer them for you. And if you've got any golfing friends who'd benefit from this lesson, hit the share buttons below. And remember to hit the subscribe and the bell icon below too, so that I can notify you every time a new episode is released. Thanks for watching, sharing, and commenting, guys. I'll see you in the 19th hole.